I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the fourth edition of the weekly investment news show. I win TV. Where you win? Because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We are the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda, when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Which company can you find Retail out there right now that has a record the as... Line. If our markets are down 25% and gold is up 12%, to a it, it wouldn't be a total crap. shock to them. Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Then we'll tease you with an upcoming special edition on cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. First let's talk about the current 50 stock portfolios selected by natural selection algorithms with a bias toward growth stocks. As you can see there are currently 47 stocks in the portfolio with 83% winners and 17% losers. The average winning return is 42% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 554% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago, followed closely by AMD which is up 484% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. The average loss is 5% with the worst stock BlackBerry losing 11% since it was purchased a month and a half ago. Here are the recent buys and sells. The natural selection algorithms did not sell any stocks this past week after selling several stocks in the financial sector last week. This week the natural selection algorithms bought the Alibaba Group. Open sesame. They also bought CR Baird, First Solar, Next Era Energy, and Nokia Corporation. So now for a read of the equity markets. In general the equity markets continue to show relatively low risk with the exception of the Nasdaq and Russell 2000. Both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 are measuring at very low risk, while both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 continue to show slightly elevated risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk shows interest rates transitioned to low risk over a week ago. Your government treasury investments should be fine for the near term. In the next couple of weeks we'll publish a special edition on cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? That is all for this week August 5th 2017. If you enjoyed watching our new iWin TV channel please subscribe below and leave a comment. Until next week we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. So tune in next week for an update. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. I win TV. See what others can't.